Hello friends, welcome to Windows. In today's video, you will learn how to enable and install Hyper-V in Windows 11 Home Edition. Hyper-V is a built-in virtualization software from Microsoft that allows users to create virtual environments and run different operating systems. Hyper-V feature is available in Windows 11 Pro, Enterprise and Education editions as an optional feature. Users can enable Hyper-V feature in these editions just by making few clicks. In case you are running Windows 11 Home Edition, then there is a bad news for you as this edition lacks Hyper-V feature and uh, interested users have to rely on third-party programs like VMware and VirtualBox. In case you don't want to rely on these third-party virtualization programs, then there is a workaround using which you can enable and install Hyper-V in Windows 11 Home Edition. In this video, I am going to show you how to do that. Before you start following the workaround, you can clearly see in WinWare window that uh, I am running Windows 11 Home Edition. Also, if I open Windows Feature window, here you will not find Hyper-V feature. So without further delay, let's start the process. The first step is to ensure if virtualization feature is enabled on your PC. For that, you need to open Task Manager. You can either open it from a task bar or use Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape key combination. In the task manager, you need to switch to performance tab. Here on the bottom right side of the screen, you will find virtualization entry. If it is set to enable, then you are good to go. In case it is set to disable, then uh, you have to enable it by going to BIOS. You can check the link in the description to learn that. In case virtualization entry is missing, then this means your PC doesn't support virtualization and you won't be able to enable Hyper-V feature on your Windows 11 PC running home edition. Now that you made up to this part of video, I presume that you have device that supports virtualization. So here is what you need to do to enable Hyper-V feature in Windows 11 home edition. You need to create a text document. For that, right click on the desktop and then select new text document. Now this will create a text document. Now open this text document and copy paste this code. Check the link in the description to get the code. Now you need to click on the file option available on the top and then select save as. In the save as window, you need to name it something like hyperv.bat or anything similar. Make sure to save the file with .bat extension else it will not work. After that, you need to select the location where you want to save and then click on the save button. Now you will get .bat file at the location which you have uh, selected while saving the file. You need to right click on it and select run as administrator. When UAC dialog box appear, click yes to continue. Now this will open the command prompt window and run the batch file. Basically this batch file will download and install all the files required to run Hyper-V using DISM tool. The process will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Once done, you will receive a message, the operation completed successfully. Restart windows to complete this operation. Here you need to type Y next to do you want to restart the computer now option. This will instantly restart the computer and complete the remaining installation process. After restart, if you open windows search and type Hyper-V, this time, Hyper-V Manager will appear in the search results. Now this confirms that you have successfully installed and enabled Hyper-V feature in Windows 11 Home Edition. Here you can click to open the Hyper-V Manager. Now you can create virtual machine on your PC running Windows 11 Home Edition. In case you don't know how to create virtual machine, then check the link in the description to learn the steps. Also, if you open Windows Feature window again, this time you will see Hyper-V feature in the list of features. 
at any point you want to disable Hyper-V, then just uncheck the Hyper-V option and restart your computer to apply the changes. So that's it guys, this is how you can uh, enable and install Hyper-V in Windows 11 Home Edition. I hope you find this video useful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.